Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about writing linear equations, and we're using standard form. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So, if I was given this problem, through 3 comma 1, and our slope is 1 half, and we have to write this in standard form. First step is actually using point slope form. So let's use this to write point slope form. So y minus our y1, which is 1 here, equals our slope 1 half times x minus x1, which is 3. So now let's simplify this and let's get our x and y to the left, numbers to the right. y minus 1 here, we can just write like that. Let's distribute this 1 half here. 1 half here, we have 1 half x, and then 1 half times x is 1 half x, 1 half times minus 3 is a minus 3 halves, okay? So where can we go from here? Let's bring the x's to the left, numbers to the right. We add a 1 to both sides, that's our number, and we subtract a 1 half x to both sides. We're left with, well the 1's cancel, these 1 half x's cancel, and we have negative 1 half x here plus y equals negative 3 halves plus 1 is a minus 1 half. All right. Well, I don't like necessarily having a values that are fractions, okay? So I'm going to get rid of that fraction by multiplying both sides by a negative 2. And the reason why I chose ah, negative 2 right there, right? I chose negative 2 because I saw a negative 1 half here, and I knew when I multiplied them out, I get a positive 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 half is a positive 1, so we can just write x here. Distribute the negative 2 to the y, and we have minus 2y. Over here, negative 1 half times negative 2 is a positive 1. And now our answer is in standard form, nice and neatly, x minus 2y equals 1, and that is our final answer. If this video helped you, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more videos for viewers like you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com